Hey guys, um, so today's what, Monday? And I know that um, I have not made a video in like forever and I do apologize. Um, there's so much happening and I honestly just have not had a free moment to make videos. Um, so I wanted to make a, a video right now as I had a free moment because um, I'm on my way to, um, I have to pay my, on my cell phone bill before they actually shut my phone off on me because I haven't uh, paid it due to lots of reasons, um, but whatever. Um, so I wanted to wish you guys hello and also I haven't told you guys really anything in a long time because I have not I have not talked with you and um, last time I made a video was to tell you guys about um, Ken my friend Ken as some of you have known him knew him uh, he passed away and um, that was the last video that I made was when he passed away. And I'm still very, very distraught about the whole situation um, because him and I were just, yeah, we were, we've been friends for many, many, many years. He was one of the first people um, that I started talking to on YouTube and um, he just was an amazing person and um, so I just have not made a video in a long time since that day and um, I ask you guys uh, my grandfather my my grandma that one that passed away months back um, my grandfather is having major surgery today at Roswell Cancer Institute. Um, it's a hospital, but it's a it's specifically just for um, cancer. The hospital, and um, he has lung cancer, and um, he's having surgery today. Actually, he's in surgery right now. They took him down about a half hour ago, and um, I'm just kind of waiting around, uh, trying to keep myself busy because. I don't know what's uh, gonna happen. Um, so, I ask you guys if you can please keep my grandfather in your in your prayers and your thoughts. Um, it's greatly greatly appreciated and needed. They literally have a. A 10 minute window to go inside, deflate his lung, shut off his pacemaker, and try to get inside his lung and remove the cancer that is in his left lung, um, his left bottom lung. And they have to go inside and get the cancer and get out in 10 minutes. They don't have no more than 10 to 15 minutes to perform the surgery. So it's a very, very risky surgery. It's scary. It's not an easy surgery, and it's very complicated. Um, so I'm very just, I'm petrified, because I don't know what's going to happen, and um, I'm just really, really scared. <sighs> because honestly, I just can't deal with another grandparent dying this year or within a couple of months, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed that the surgery goes well and he comes out okay and he doesn't have to live with like a ventilator for the rest of his life so if you can keep him in your your prayers uh, and my family in your prayers it would be greatly appreciated um i want to thank one of my friends uh and i really don't like to give names because it is a privacy thing and um he knows who uh, this person is, and, um, I'm just gonna say per, okay, um, thank you so much for, 
your letter that I received uh, a few days ago in my mailbox. I just wanted to say that every time I hear from you, you brighten up my day and you make me smile and you just really, really mean a lot to me and you're a really great friend and I appreciate what you do for me. So thank you for that and um, if I get a free moment, I will try to write you back. If not, I apologize. I'm just extremely busy and hectic and I have not even been making videos or anything like that and stuff. So it's just really, really hard. But um, so with that being said, uh, I have many wonderful friends on YouTube here and you guys are just all so amazing. But I just wanted to do, do a shout out to that one specific person for uh, what your letter and stuff that you sent me. Um, on a lighter note, um, I've been dating a wonderful girl for about um, we've been dating for five months and um, the gay marriage it now is passed in New York so now gay marriage is now legal as of um, not too long ago and uh, it's just it's, it's great that now um, gay people gay couples are allowed to be married here in New York State which is absolutely amazing and it's going down in history because I never thought I would live to see the day that it would actually happen and um, my girlfriend and I actually um, got engaged um, two weeks ago yeah about two weeks ago so uh, I have not even been able to come on here to share the news with you guys um, there's not like no date set or anything like that. It's just um, we're taking that slow and whatnot. Um, it'll happen when it happens and everybody, you know, my family and whatnot are all asking me when we're going to get married and it's not written in stone or anything like that. We don't have a date. It's just, it's more of, um, you know, just for ourselves. We don't know when it's going to happen. But as soon as I park here, I will show you guys my engagement ring. We both um, gave each other an engagement ring. It, it wasn't just like one way. It wasn't just like, you know, I gave her one, she gave me one. Um, we both gave each other one, so it was even more special and stuff like that. I have to park extremely far away just to pay my cell phone bill because this place is always so crazy. So just bear with me. Let me shut my, my car off here. I'm gonna might put you guys down for one second. Hang on. <laughs> okay. So it's really hot out. It's like let me check my phone. Hang on, actually wait. Um It is 80 degrees here, and it's just been like a heat wave for like the past couple of weeks. It's crazy insane. Okay, so I need to go, but I wanted to show you guys my engagement ring really quick. This is my engagement ring that I got from my girlfriend. I don't even know if you guys can see it that well. Hang on. There is five diamonds, and um, it's a one carat. It's pretty, it's beautiful, and it fits me perfectly. It's totally me, it's what I wanted. It's always what I wanted in an engagement ring, just something simple and nothing really girly, because that was just never me. <laughs> um, so, but I'm gonna go because I am gonna get really hot in here now that the air conditioning is not on in my truck. But I love you guys and I hope to talk to you guys soon. And um, keep my grandfather in your oops, sorry, in your 
uh, thoughts and your, and your prayers, and um, I will try to make a video as soon as possible, but until next time, take care of one another, another, be kind to each other, and know that I'm always thinking of you guys, you guys mean so much to me, and I'm just really, really sorry that I have not been able to um, make a video, so until next time, peace and love, and um, I love you guys very much, okay? Bye.